Hey guys, it's Brian Hare from PreSalonEducation.com with step seven on your 14 steps to becoming a better colorist. Uh, step seven, I wanted to go into balayage and I thought about how to do this step and I didn't really want to cheapen the application by trying to rush this into a really quick video. So instead, for the full technique on application, I want you to go back and check out the actual full balayage video that we have. Pretty sure the link's going to be below for that. And I just wanted to hit on just a couple of things that maybe I didn't go into enough uh, in that video. Just, again, to give you some quick tips, hopefully help you out a little bit. Uh, for starters, when you're getting started on a balayage technique, you're going to switch to... I, I choose to go to balayage when I'm looking for a little bit more natural of a look, a little bit more of a sun-kissed. Foil work definitely has its time and its place, but when you're just looking to highlight someone's base color or natural color and create more of that sun-kissed kind of look, that's when I'm going to move into balayage because that's the effect that you're going to get. With that in mind, getting started, your sectioning is going to want to be off of their natural part. You're going to talk to them about where their part is. If they say they switch it, no big deal. I find out where it is most often. Usually I'll just put it in where their part was when they sat down because chances are that's usually where it's going to sit. So working off of their natural part, that's going to help give you that nice sun-kissed look, however they style their hair. The other tidbit that I want to make sure that I hit on for this video is when you're moving somebody from foil work into more of a balayage highlight technique, you want to keep in mind that this is a highlight technique. You're not necessarily always going to be looking for an all-over color shift. If you are, cool, go with it, do your thing. But if you are looking to convince someone that this is a fantastic alternative to just doing foil work, one thing you're going to want to make sure of is that you leave in some of their natural color because this is a highlight to what they have going on. Now what I mean by that is when you go in and you're taking those triangular sections that I showed you in the video, you're not going to want to take every single hair on the head because when you do that, that's when you're going to get more of a color shift. If I take every single triangle and do every single section with my V shape, then you're going to be coloring almost all of the hair, almost all of the ends, which is going to give them more of an ombre instead of just a highlight. So when you take your triangular sections to keep it a highlight, maybe you want to leave a little bit of space out here. When I come and take that next triangle, it won't go all the way. So now you can see, while these sections are going to be highlighted, we're going to have plenty of hair that's still left out so that they're still going to have their natural color, base color, whatever, still worked into that final result. So I hope that helps. Stay tuned for step eight on the 14 steps to becoming a better colorist. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.